There is a new movie out, of course, with uh, Seth Rogen and Charlie Theron that is out, and it's called Long Shot. Now, the trailers have looked pretty good for this thing. Early reactions were good. There was a screening of it at CinemaCon that I was a little under the weather, so I couldn't go to it, but I talked to delegates who saw it, and they all quite enjoyed it. So I finally had a chance to go out and watch Long Shot myself last night. I'm going to tell you what, this movie's hilarious. It's really funny. Not the best comedy I've seen in the last year or two or, or anything like that, but this was a thoroughly enjoyable, less political than you think. Like, the funny thing is about this movie is you've got, it's it surrounds politics in the sense that you've got Charlie Theron's character who is Secretary of State and she's running for president. She bumps into a journalist that she actually used to babysit when she was in high school in Seth Rogen's character. She brings him on to start writing for her, and then it becomes a romantic comedy at that point. But considering that so much of the movie's plot revolves around politics, politics was actually a smaller factor in this movie than you might think. A lot of stuff revolved on, you know, international issues and certain political figures Yet the DNA of it felt less political than you might think it would, and that was actually kind of refreshing. Again, though, does it do everything right? No. Is it a little thin on story? Yes. Is it a little bit predictable along the ways? Yes, it is. It's actually, it's actually fairly predictable along the way as well. But I'm going to say this. One of the things that I always mention about comedies is that comedy is one of these genres where you can do almost everything wrong in, in a comedy. You can have questionable performances, you can have questionable story, you can have questionable directing, you can have questionable this and questionable that in a comedy. But if your comedy makes the audience laugh, and laugh frequently, then almost everything else becomes forgiven. Now, Long Shot doesn't do a lot wrong, but it does do a number of things that it kind of struggles with along the way. But it never fails to have you laughing. And that's the, the key thing with this movie. I found myself laughing quite a bit. One of the drawbacks of the film is Anne was saying, because I saw it with my wife Anne, we're walking out and she goes, the one problem with the movie, I'm like, okay, hit me, what is it? What's the big problem with the movie? She goes, Charlie Theron is so good looking, it's distracting. I'm like, well, that's a hell of a, of, a, of a criticism, actually. It's probably one they won't mind hearing. But yeah, Charlie Theron is so attractive, she becomes distracting. And actually, after she said that, I laughed, but I'm like, yeah, maybe maybe there were a few points along the ways in the movie that like, like oh my God, Charlie Theron is so attractive that maybe it becomes a little bit distracting. Um, and, yep, the, the supporting cast along the way was great uh, from Seth Rogen's best friend to the support staff of Charlie Theron to the Canadian prime minister. Good little Canadian in there. Yeah, they had a, one of the one of the big supporting characters was the Canadian Prime Minister, but it's a it's a movie that once again unfolds at its own pace. It was too long, like this movie times in at just a little over two hours, I believe, and you could feel it. A movie like this should come in at like around an hour 40, hour 45. I could feel the weight of that extra 15, 20 minutes. It was a little bit too long for what this movie was. That doesn't take away from the quality of it. I could just feel that it was a little bit long in the tooth for what it was going for. But still, at the end of the day, it's a clever, entertaining, funny romantic comedy that is uh, actually really a highlight of the month going to go see this thing. If you're looking for a few good laughs along the way, go out and check out Longshot. I think you're going to have a good time.